All right, guys, Super Bowl Sunday is this Sunday. And I'm feeling like nachos. Tortilla chips, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, black and refried beans, bacon, jalapeno, diced onion, ground beef, chicken wings, olives, potato skins, and of course, nacho cheese. 12 ingredients in total. And if I count it correctly, once our dish is assembled, we will have over nine pounds of nachos clocking in at over 10,000 calories. Oh yeah, go 49ers. All right, guys, welcome to this week's food challenge. Today, yes, we are doing nachos. It's been a few years since I've done a nacho video on this challenge. I figured it was time for a reboot. And of course, Super Bowl Sunday is this coming Sunday. I'm from the Bay Area. The San Francisco 49ers are in the Super Bowl, so I'm pumped. But before we get to the 10,000 calories of nachos, before the 49ers beat the Chiefs, uh, today's video is sponsored by Honey. Yeah, of course, watching the Super Bowl is fun, but you know what also is fun? Saving money. Honey is a free tool that makes saving money while shopping online easy. Honey works in the background and searches the internet for coupon codes, discount, and lower prices, and then automatically applies them to your cart at checkout. I, like most people, shop online all the time, and it is so frustrating when you purchase an item and then realize later that you could have there was a discount code or promo code that you didn't use. Fortunately, I've been using Honey for a couple years now, and I've never had to do this. <laughs> Honestly, say you're ordering some pizzas for the big game. Well, at checkout, all you gotta do is click apply coupons and Honey will scan the internet for coupons and promo codes and then apply the best codes to your cart. In this example, I saved over $31 on five pizzas. In fact, you guys who have used my referral link, joinhoney.com slash mattstoney, have saved over $650,000 using Honey. That's a whole lot of money. Installation is super easy. Just go to joinhoney.com slash mattstoney and with two clicks, you are ready to start saving money. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's really no reason to not join Honey. Again, that is joinhoney.com slash mattstoney. Link will be in the description box below. All right, on to the nachos. All right, these are all the ingredients that are going into my ultimate Super Bowl nachos platter. We've got two bags of white corn tortilla chips, a gigantic six pound, 10 ounce can of nacho cheese. We're using half of it. We've got some fresh pico de gallo right here. We've got some guacamole, some real bacon chunks, uh, taco seasoned ground beef, little baby can of olives, refried beans, black beans, sour cream, and I thought it'd be funny to toss on some chicken wings and potato skins. You know what, I think I'm repeating myself. I said all this in the introduction already. Let's start making the nachos. Ah. Oh man. 3,360 calories per bag of chips. And then black beans. All right, now we gotta heat up this gigantic container of cheese. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is gonna be the base for everything. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, no way. Holy sh Here we go. Just scoop of guac. One over here. Alright, next up we're going with the uh, pico de gallo. Let's do. Alright, now go on the olives. Use a whole can of olives. It looks so fiesta. <laughs> Wow. All right, um, let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do with these chicken wings. In playing this video, I was thinking, why would this be a Super Bowl nacho platter? Why, why is it, why isn't just a normal nacho platter? While I'm making it a Super Bowl nacho platter, we're putting on some hot wings right now. Super Bowl nacho platter. And again, making this a Super Bowl nacho platter, we're gonna put on some potato skins. And last but not least, three strips uh, worth of 100% uh, freshly fried bacon bits. Boom! 
Boom! All right, let's clean up and then we'll, we'll debrief. This thing is nuts. That exclusive shot is going on my Instagram account. Matt underscore Stoney. <laughs> oh man, all right guys. Let me just say this up front. I didn't know how this was gonna turn out. I wanted, I wanted lots of ingredients. I wanted to go with the chicken wings and the potato skins to make it like Super Bowl themed stuff. I thought it might turn out like a mosh pit of stuff and it kind of is, but it looks good. Damn. It still smells amazing. Oh, the salsa and cheese and right, I'm hungry, let's eat this thing. All right guys, here we go. Ultimate Super Bowl nacho challenge. Uh, challenge starts in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Oh. I'm gonna get some guacamole over here, some sour cream. That's a lot of sour cream. <laughs> My bear cut. Damn it. Alright, let's give it a hot one and try. It's still good. It's still good, do you think? I mean, it's not bad. I'll put it this way. I can't tell if I've got too much topping or too many chips. It's literally impossible to tell where the balance stands. Yeah, the way of it's like pushing it off the back side. Like, oh, you <laughs> All right, eight minutes in, 8.05 right now. Um, looking about halfway there. It's um, admittedly becoming like a little bit of a mosh pit of toppings and stuff. I mean, never, not that it never was, but at least it still tastes good. With these good solid chips, I'm literally scooping up wads of chips. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair to say now we're at halfway mark. Nine minutes. Oh. <laughs> what do I even do with this thing? There's a lot of nachos. Come on, man, let's go. Come on, man, baby. And 15, 15. I have a quarter of the plate left. You know what? I'm actually getting a little uh, not so full. <laughs> Hell no! I'm demolishing this just. Here we go, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. Crap. A little guacamole. Oh, a lot of guacamole down here. Come on, come. 2049. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's spicy. My lips are on fire. Yeah. Oh, I am full. Look at that belly. Holy oh, crap. Mm. Damn, that's messy. All right, guys. Well, that's it. The plate looks a little gross because it's like a mixture. It's a mosh pit of all the ingredients that were on it. But regardless, I'm showing it to you because that is the ultimate Super Bowl nacho platter. Nine pounds, over nine pounds, and over 10,000 calories of nachos. 
completed. Man, I'm actually I'm actually happy I finished that in 20 minutes. I thought I'd be here for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of nachos. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy. Damn, burps. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, honey. Join honey.com slash Stoney. Honey sponsored this video. So big thanks to them for sponsoring this channel yet again. Super easy browser extension. Works in the background. Saves you money. Get honey to save some money. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> ah, nachos, man, nachos. It's been years. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next <clears throat> food challenge. I can't even talk about a bird nowadays. Thought oh, nacho cheese. I will say, all right, so I'll be the first to say it. Those chicken wings are kind of dumb. Yeah. Like when I was thinking about putting the chicken wings on the nachos, I was like, well, there's nothing that you'd put on nachos that wouldn't be okay kind of on a chicken wing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, alright, you get a little cheese on your chicken wing, it still tastes, you know, it's cheesy chicken wing. Yeah, they have a cheese dip. Yeah, exactly. So like, I, I didn't think there was nothing wrong, but it was, it was, it was the damn spice.